Well, hello, friends. Uh, Michael here with uh, m and Model Railways. And I'm back to do another uh, unboxing reveal of stuff that I ordered from uh, Woodland Scenics. This is uh, something for the river. So for those of you that don't know, um, m and Model Railways is Michael and Michelle. And that's a husband and wife team that's actually building this model layout in their living room. So we're gonna open this package right after this. Well, one of these days I'll be able to uh, have a, a steam train running around the track to do my little um, transition from my introduction to the actual build that I'm gonna be doing. And you all know that we're doing a build um, series here on phase one of our model train layout and we also do uh, package uh, reveals on what we get so uh, sometimes my wife will open up these uh, packages she just didn't feel like uh, doing a video with me today that's okay as uh, I get a little anxious and like to see what uh, I ordered and she doesn't know what I ordered so uh, she uh, has a tendency to be more surprised than I am. So let's see what we have in our uh, display area here. Besides all the packaging, we have some uh, polyfiber and uh, that uh, model shrubs, vines, undergrowth, and trees. And it's non-metallic for any scale. And it's uh, color fest. What I'm going to be doing with this is I'm going to be putting it on the rock cropping out there um, on the back of my layout and I'll be uh, um, adding some darker greenish foliage over the top of it with some either yellow flowers or red flowers, probably the yellow flowers, but I'll be uh, showing that, you that in an upcoming video. Uh, next thing we got here is water waves and uh, I'm give you a little close up on that. So um water waves and it also gives you a little instructions on how to make the water waves that's pretty cool i want to make a, a river that doesn't look like it's stagnant and standing still i want to make it look like it's a rapidly running um, river so i'm going to be doing that and uh, then the next thing i got here is some uh, um, white water highlights and uh, they'll be paint it over the top of uh, those waves to make it look like uh, there's white water in there. So that's a pretty cool thing. And um, we uh, are putting highways, asphalt highways, and we're gonna be painting on some uh, um, white lines and some yellow lines. So I ordered a, a flexi edge. This is actually a ruler that uh, flexes and it has uh, little uh, measurements on there for measuring the uh, like dotted lines or uh, solid lines and it gives you an idea of, of that and then uh, of course uh, the paint pens there's a uh, the white line uh, paint pen you can see that there and then uh, the yellow line paint pen you can see that there the purpose of of these paint pens is so uh, and there's a, a, an extra tip in there because sometimes it uh, dries out and stuff. And so you want to be able to use it more than once. So um, we'll be able to use it more than once because uh, um, I'll be, uh, you can see this uh, line that's coming through here. That's a highway that actually goes underneath that bridge there. And so uh, basically I want to make sure that uh, um, I had the stuff to be able to do that with. Um, so when it comes to building the road, I have to do a few steps first before I can build the road. So as you can tell the river here, what I have to do is I have to um, apply my water waves and my uh, waterfalls and my uh, uh, white water effects to these first two layers. There's actually four layers of the river, but um, when I get ready to seal this track down, everything that is from the bottom coming up has to be completed. So I'm gonna be doing these first two sections here because uh, the track goes over the top of that. So that needs to be sealed down. And then there's a bridge that's uh, right here, as you can tell, and the road's gonna tie into that. So those two sections have to be done before 
I can lay this track down right here because I'm coming across here with uh, um, the blacktop asphalt road. The back part of that also has to be done before I secure the track going up over the back canyon. And I'll be showing you that in upcoming videos as well. So we need some more water resin in this uh, first uh, area right here because uh, I didn't have enough uh, um, pour in there when I did that. So we're going to be ballasting this track, but I'm going to be securing this bridge so we won't be lifting anything out of here anymore. So there's certain steps that have to be done in order to get this done. So the first thing I want to do is uh, establish where my uh, track is going to go. And if you've seen the, the last uh, unboxing video, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So I'll be finishing the river into those two areas, which is uh, really uh, exciting for us. And then uh, I'll figure out where the switch track goes with uh, the packages that I got. I can only afford to get just a little bit of uh, stuff for my train layout uh, each month. And so that's why uh, I make videos uh, to, I try to make four videos in a month. But uh, for my uh, January and February special here on my YouTube channel, I'm doing two videos a week, uh, one on Tuesdays and one on uh, Thursdays. But normally my videos uh, for this uh, build layout come out on Thursdays. So and then maybe the unboxing uh, videos will come out on, on a Tuesday when I get an unboxing video. But you can always uh, watch these uh, videos from the playlist series on phase one of this build. Like I said, there's four phases to this total layout that's going to be in our living room. So you'll understand what that's all about. So why don't you come back in another video, my friends, as we actually start doing some building on this layout. We start uh, looking at the track that we need to lay down and uh, we'll go from there. So thank you for watching uh, this video on unboxing from Woodland Scenics. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe uh, notification that's right down there or maybe it's down there. And make sure you hit that bell to uh, turn on the notification. So anytime I do post one of these videos or my wife makes a video, you'll always be able to see that coming up in your notifications. So check back uh, here next week or Thursday, depending on which comes first, the, uh, the actual build that we're going to be starting into. I'll see you soon. Talk to you later.